February's inflation report is out, and it shows a slight improvement. But the prices you pay are still stubbornly high. This comes on the heels of two major banks failing, in part due to rising interest rates. Lauren Blanchard breaks it all down for us from Washington. As a busy financial week continues, there is new data to ever so slightly calm investors' fears. The Consumer Price Index shows an inflation rate of 6% year over year. Inflation is starting to come down uh, slower than we would like, uh, but you know these things do take time. Many food items, especially eggs, are still expensive. Inflation is down from 6.4% in January. Still, it remains stubbornly high, well above the Federal Reserve's target rate, which could mean more interest rate hikes are in store. They really haven't been terribly successful in bringing inflation down so far. It is still well above 2%. The new report comes on the heels of two massive bank failures, Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank, taken over by regulators in the past few days, at first leaving many depositors without a way to access their money. I do think that this issue that we're having in the banking sector is not going to go away, sadly. There is relief the federal government quickly stepped in to secure funds that otherwise were not insured past the $250,000 limit. But it has rattled trust in the banking system, which President Biden says is safe. It's our money, and we didn't invest somewhere that went down. We put in a checking account at zero interest rate. The Federal Reserve meets next week. They are expected to raise interest rates again, but with the two bank failures, some are wondering if it will change the Fed's strategy. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.